Since seeking help for my gambling addiction and starting to improve my life, I've never felt happier or been more fulfilled. But I didn't always think that I was a compulsive gambler, and I wasn't able to start making my life better until I was able to come to terms with that. In this video, I'm going to tell you about when I realized that I was addicted to gambling, in hopes that you might see some of yourself in my story, and be able to avoid going through the hard times before seeking to live a better life. My name is Rob, and I'm definitely a compulsive gambler. I made my last bet on November the 12th, 2022, and since that point, I've made it my mission to spread facts about the reality of gambling online, via YouTube and TikTok, while offering tips on how to live a happier and healthier life. Now, before I jump into the meat of today's content, I just wanna say that if you're feeling like you're alone in whatever personal battles that you're going through, you need to know that that is not at all the case. When I realized that I had a gambling addiction, I thought that maybe I was the only one like me, and boy was I wrong. Help is out there. You just have to have the courage and the clarity of mind to reach out and ask for it. If you're just starting or considering a journey in self-improvement or addiction recovery, start by smashing that subscribe button and let's take on this challenge together as a community. So, when did I realize that I was a gambling addict? Well, I pretty much knew that my gambling was a bad thing when I started to lose. It's a shame, but with gambling, most people don't really see the negative side until they have to learn it the hard way. So, when I was in college and started betting a lot of money on a bunch of games that I had no idea who would win or lose just to feel some excitement, well, I knew things had the potential to get very bad. Despite losing a lot of money, I still thought I could control my gambling, or that maybe I was just on a downswing, but that in the long run, my advanced sports knowledge was gonna help me to hit big. It wasn't until I started losing friends and relationships that I realized that I had a really serious problem. My friends would invite me to hang out or go out, and you know, I'd go and I'd have a fine time, but oftentimes during the night, I'd sneak off into the bathroom play some bets, play some blackjack, or check the scores of the games that I had bet before going out that night. And the result of that would usually determine my mood for the remainder of our night. I became a highly negative person, and I'd lash out at people for almost no reason. I know, it's hard to imagine because I'm so chill now. But when I realized that gambling was ruining my relationships and friendships, and as people slowly started disappearing from my life, I started to dive deeper into my negative emotions and anger, and I quickly realized that gambling was causing most of it. I'd say up to almost almost 99%. As time went by, I would win big and I would lose bigger. It was always a roller coaster. I thought I was good at it, but it wasn't long before my wins became future losses. I would win big one night and then the next night, if I was even lucky enough to get to that point, I'd lose all my winnings. I was trapped in a cycle of highs and lows and it was draining me mentally and financially. I'd continue my patterns of negativity and take my anger out on others rather than correcting the problem that I knew deep down that I had. I figured it was easier to bash on others than it was to be honest with myself. That was just the reality for me. But one day I woke up and I realized that I didn't want to live like that anymore. I decided to take a leap of faith and go to a Gamblers Anonymous meeting. And it wasn't easy at first, but with the help of the support group and my support system at home, I started to see some improvements in my life. Things were not all smooth sailing, and I even had a couple relapses since joining Gamblers Anonymous. But now, I've been going strong and I'm clean since November 12th, 2022, and doing better than ever before. When I started to work self-improvement and a healthy lifestyle into my routine, while maintaining that support system and avoiding gambling, obviously, I became a much happier and healthier person. That's what I want for all of you, and that's why I make these videos. Now, if any of this story sounds like something that you can relate to, let me know down in the comments how you've improved since that point in your life. If you haven't started your improvement journey yet, this is a sign that's a perfect time to get started now. Gambling is a really selfish activity, and it's one that only benefits you in the short term, and that's really only if you win. It's instant gratification, and it's unpredictable as well as uncontrollable. If you base your happiness and meaning on something like gambling, it is absolutely time to seek help to live a better life. What's gambling doing for you that you need to keep going? For me, it wasn't worth the pain and suffering that it caused. I started to spend more time with family, friends, and pursue other interests that gave me joy and fulfillment. And, you know, slowly but surely, I started to rebuild my relationships, and overall, I'm living a much happier life. I realized that I was a gambling addict while I was gambling, but I only accepted that I was a gambling addict when I saw how good life could be without the chaos of gambling. Thank you all for watching, and with that, let's keep getting better together, one day at a time.